clean and renewable energy, the path chosen by Morocco at a time when the question of climate change is at the forefront. While they import close to 90% of their energy, they have since 2009 launched an important project to produce solar energy called the Moroccan Solar Plan. They have five sites. The objective is to produce 2,000 megawatts of renewable energy by 2020 and obtaining 42% of the market of consumed energy in Morocco compared to 10% in 2009. The cost of this ambitious project is estimated at $9 billion. The sun could even become the motor behind the industrialization of Morocco. The site at Ain Beni Matar in the east benefits from an abundance of sun and sufficient water to cool down the electric power plant and to clean the solar mirrors. It is close to a gas pipeline between Maghreb and Europe and a high tension network which allows the transportation of produced energy. It is here, in fact, that African Development Bank, AFDB, realized its interest in renewable energy in Africa and in deepening its partnership with Morocco. With this investment, which today passes $6 billion, the bank became, in 2009, the principal investor in Morocco. In collaboration with the Funds for the World Environment and the Moroccan Agency for Solar Energy, AFDB has financed around two-thirds of the cost for the implementation and the functioning of the power plant at Ain Beni Matar, the first in the world to combine solar energy with gas and steam, as used by the Spanish company Abengoa. There is the sun all year long here, so it's important to use renewable energy. Our plant generates 4,050 megawatts, thanks to its three turbines, two of which are gas and one stream of which 20 megawatts is provided by solar energy. The project has cost around 420 million euros. We speak of this project in this entirety, which includes the vacation, pipes, the plant, and all the infrastructure that surrounded it. FDB was our main investor because of the two loans of 287 million euros. FDB assisted us during the period of establishing a market, the course for tender and the judgment. The force of the sun in the region of Beni Matar is such that according to the specialists, the same solar panel with a yearly capacity of 800 kilowatts per hour in the south of Germany would produce 2,200 kilowatts per hour yearly in Morocco. And the protection of the environment remains one of the principal preoccupations for the promoter of this plant. We only use solar energy. We don't use chemical products or water or fuels. I can say that the plant is really adapted to the environment. The construction of the plant took nearly three years and production started in October 2010. During this period, the population of this region rose from 5,000 to 6,200. Eventually, this project will benefit many people in the region. Around 500 workers would be employed during the construction, peaking around 2015. The local small companies provide means of support and contribute to the development of local industries. It was a huge building site during the construction. The region benefited from this thanks to the employment of local workers. There was also a dynamic surge economically in the area, notably real estate, food service industry and transport. But the most important acquisition for the local is the road constructed linking the Duars Habelgar and the town of Beni Mathar. We have also benefited from having two new bridges, one over the Tabuda River and the other under Sharf River. The Moroccan solar plan combines solar and thermal energy. From now to 2012, the Moroccan National Office of Electricity should see its production capacity pass from 200 to 250 megawatts and provide 1,590 gigawatts per hour to a nationally interconnected network, of which 55 gigawatts per hour will be produced directly by solar energy. 
An annual economy based on millions of tons of petrol with a value of $500 million will reduce 3.7 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually. For the African Development Bank, its priorities are the development of energy in Africa at a small price, to provide clean energy to a maximum of people, and to diversify the sources of electrical energy. The solar power plant at Ain Beni Matar was the first experience for AFDB, but surely not its last.